Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to talk about John Wick. John Wick is a new Kino Reeves film, uh, starring Kino Reeves, of course, uh, and a whole lot of other people playing billets. Uh, and the story is about this one man. He he has a very special set of skills, kind of. He's he's like a badass old. Man. His wife, he's like a badass kind of middle aged man or older guy, and uh, he. And his wife died, and his wife got him a puppy as her dying wish. His wife died of cancer or something, uh, and then he he got he got this cute little puppy, probably the cutest puppy you'll ever see on screen. And yeah, he the puppy just the 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 so so then uh he gets in with some German mobsters that have something to do with his old work uh not German Russian mobsters that have something to do with his own work and uh that that are kind of involved with some people that used to do stuff with his old work. He's like an ex agent of some sort and uh yeah uh Kinar Reeves is John Wick is the character's name and yeah uh. And yeah, so, so, uh, out, out, and then by a big mobster son, kills his dog and takes his car, he actually, and then, and then, uh, the, he, he, this mob guy's son, played by Alfie Allen, aka Theon Greyjoy from Game of Thrones, and, and then the mobster is kind of like pissed at his son, and then also, after some stuff, he's also out for John Wick as well. Uh, and the villain, uh, the main villain is played by, I don't know his name, but he was the villain in Mr. Impossible uh, 4, Ghost Protocol. And, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, girl, and he was also in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo original, which I have not seen. I've only seen the David Fincher American, North American version. And yeah, uh, so I don't have much to say on, on, uh, him as an actor, except I thought he was okay as the villain in, uh, in, uh, what's it called that, yeah, and there's also stuff like Willem Dafoe's also in it, Ian McShane's also in it, a lot of really good actors, uh, and yeah, uh, and also, uh, yeah, uh, so I was looking forward to this movie when I first saw the trailer, when I heard about this, I'm like, I can all read the movie, pass, that's what I've been saying, because I kind of like, you know, Reeves in the right role, I'm like, pass, pass, what is this? And I saw the trailer. I'm like, okay, this this could be really good. Uh, and then I heard great reviews, and I'm like, okay, this could be really, really good. And then I saw it, and it was fucking great. It was fucking awesome. It was, it's one of the best action movies I have seen. And, uh, and yeah, it's just so enjoyable. The action, oh boy, the action. Uh, the action's fantastic, of course it is. Uh... It's by the stuntmen, I think the stuntmen from The Matrix, and yeah, uh, it was, it's just a really, really good, uh, stunt, like, what they do with guns, they have gung fu, which is badass, and like, just the action scenes, they're so, kind of, they're kind of big, and they're just so well shot, oh my god, it's like, it's like, wow, this actually happened, and, like, sometimes it could just be like, five people, like, one person versus five characters, or another people... Or some other people versus, uh, uh, or, or like, or like two people fighting each other. It's still awesome. No matter what it's, it's, it's like guns mixed with, uh, fighting actually like, like it's, it's just, it's awesome. And like, yeah, it's like, it's, it is a spy movie, but yeah, it's just, it's awesome. And yeah, uh, and yeah, I, I, I love the action. Uh, Kinaru, Kinaru Reeves is is uh actually really good in this movie as this ex FBI agent you kind of feel for his character he has really good stuff and this is actually one of his best performances but, but yeah uh I thought this was really good like he's kind of like if Johnny Utah retired and in 20 years he had a wife he he married Tyler let's say that uh and then he had a wife and then and then yeah and then uh he he became an FBI agent he had, he had a puppy his puppy died and yeah why did they kill the puppy yeah, whatever. Anyways, but yeah, all the other actors do great. Michael Nike, is it Mikael Nyquist? I think that that's something. I, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I thought he did really, really good. So did Alfie Allen, who played his son, aka Theon Greyjoy. I thought did really good. This is one of the best 
non Game of Thrones role I've seen him in, so I think he has some really good potential as an actor after this role. I I'm I think he could be great. Uh yeah, uh but also uh yeah, uh and yeah, Willem Dafoe's awesome, he's Willem Dafoe. Ian McShane's really good. John Linguizamo has a small role but still really, really good, uh, towards the beginning. And yeah, also I kinda like the underworld the like the crime thing thing like it's a world of crime that is really interesting like it's like the criminals and stuff and just they're all really interesting they're not like well developed but they're just really interesting people and really interesting great actors to do this and yeah it's just a very inter, inter, interesting film and that, that's what i could say it's it's a very interesting action movie all the villains are actually really good and some of them aren't villains i thought wow there were going to be a lot wow that's too many villains no it's just one villain and just some other people, which was really good, and all these big actors, they did well. Like he, like I said, Ian McShane, uh, Willem Dafoe, they all did great, and yeah, uh, I kind of like it. There, there's some really creative stuff that I, I don't want to spoil. There's this one thing that has to do with coins, which is pretty creative. Uh, there's this one hotel, which is pretty cool. There's, there's this one nightclub scene, which, oh my god. Like, this was my face throughout all the action scenes. Yeah, this is one of the best action movies I've seen this year. Probably the second best next to The Raid 2 because that was, oh boy, that was, that was, that was, that was just awesome. But th this is pretty damn close to it. And it is pretty fucking fantastic. And I'm going to give it an A. It is the best action movie I've seen. It's, it's really good. Uh, it, it has some problems here and there, but I just enjoyed it so much that it's really good. And it also kind of has a dark sense of humor, kind of, which I kind of like. Yeah, uh, I, I recommend, I, I definitely recommend seeing this, and yeah, that's my review, like, subscribe, and bye-bye.